Hello everybody, this is Edward of Chart and we are back with Adventures of Eddie the Builder. Now in my previous episode I did say we would look at armor because especially if you're out in the woods I can't tell you how many um, characters even in low population modes that I've actually lost while chopping wood. Chopping wood for building a base is especially um, dangerous because for, especially if you're tempted to fast forward zombie can sneak up on you and you're quite over encumbered and quite tired while it's happening while you're sawing the logs chopping the wood doing everything and makes a lot of noise it's just you're gonna have a bad time so what you would want is some armor it could save your life while you're doing that now what I'm gonna do here this is something that I never did before and I don't actually know why it's actually quite easy and I was actually quite dumb for not doing it all you do is in your backpack keep a pair of scissors simple as I mean you might want to know why, why are you doing that why are you keeping scissors in your backpack I'll show you leather denim and ordinary piece of clothing are the types of armor you can find now we don't have a vi I mean friend a victim friend to um, test on but let's see what this this oh yeah look at this now we don't have leather but He's got an ordinary striped t-shirt, got some socks, got some sneakers. Now these are quite easy. You can rip them up without any, any help. So he rips them up, get some threads, get some, some sheets. Sometimes you get threads. But the scissors are specifically for the denim. If I didn't have the scissors, I wouldn't be able to rip this, these jeans up. So that helps. Because otherwise I'd need to carry those jeans. Those jeans were at least probably one... One plus units of weight, don't know if it's pounds or kilograms, but now that I don't need to do that, I only get the strips, and strips weigh 0.15. So it's a good way of getting thread from everything, from rib sheets, denim, from leather, but also to make carrying more strips of leather and denim actually possible. Look there, you can rip up multiple pieces of denim, all because I have the scissors takes a few seconds but definitely worth it he doesn't know any better so let's go find some some leather wearing zombies and I'll show you what I mean okay looks like we finally got to ooh I didn't, <laughs> didn't even see there was a police Police zombie. Okay, looks like we've got two leather jackets, and so now we can cut these up, and it makes for leather. You see, I'm over encumbered, and now it's gone. So the leather jacket weighs how much? How much do you weigh? Weighs the two whole units. Two. You cut that into strips. That goes all the way from two, all the way down to. 0.05 per strip. I stripped down two of them and made f four strips more or less, so that's 0.2 from four because I had two jackets. That's a huge cut down in weight and you end up with exactly what you would have had anyway, which is the leather strips. So real useful <clears throat> just to have the scissors in the field because it'll allow you to save on weight, carry more stuff, and ultimately to get the amount of leather and denim you actually want to make your armor. Let's get back to base and I'll show you some of the some of the you know the basics on it. Okay, <clears throat> so here is all the stuff we managed to get, including the police bulletproof vest now I think yeah I am wearing one so not a big benefit well not yet anyway what we're gonna sorry what we're gonna be doing is uh, we will be reinforcing one of our items so you basically go there we go <coughs> protection what do we have what do we have oh that's weird What's quite low? Our, our pants appear to be quite low. We have damaged pants. Let's see. 
There you go, look at that. So if you view your pants with inspect, I got a hole in my pants. That's terrible. We don't even want to deal with that. <clears throat> so at some point I'm going to need to go and look for new pants. Because, yeah, these holes, apparently at higher tailoring levels you can fix them. I have never been able to. Uh, stuff like the bulletproof vest, you can't repair these at all. Just look, they can't be repaired. Oh, and boots, what I suspect happens with boots is I think they get damaged from stomping zombies. I haven't seen any videos that say this, but I'm pretty sure, just based on what I've, you know, you, you see in the field, just based on that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put on a new set of boots. Now, you can't repair boots. The only thing I really have here that's in good shape is the denim shirt, so let's... Let's take a look. As you can see, my dude doesn't have a beard. <laughs> um, yeah, poor, poor Eddie. Uh, that footage you saw earlier, he got taken down. Yeah, it just shows you, shows you how important good tailoring is. Um, got overwhelmed by the zombies even on this mode, so. But this is Eddie's legacy and he's gonna be fighting even harder than before, so. This is not about the character, it's about the base. That's what it's about. So firstly, we're not very high up skills wise, so we're gonna be training a bit. You can see. Just gonna clean these rags. So, what you basically do is you just go inspect your clothes. Whoopsie, hey, let me unpack these two. Oink. There you go. Now, first thing, a lot of our clothes basically failed us, so we're just gonna do a lot of adding the padding now the reason I'm using the I'm using the rubber sheets is ah, the rip sheets apologies is this for grinding so you're gonna be putting the rip sheets on and then you're gonna be taking them off putting them on and taking them off and with every round that you do this you're gonna lose thread you gain again a little bit back but you're, you're gradually gonna lose it until you have none left um, and the reason you do this is so that you build up the skill, the higher your tailoring skill, the more thread you can scavenge on the field while ripping up clothing. So, so yeah, I'm going to do this for a while and then if I get a level or two up, we'll actually reinforce these things properly. Because uh, running around with the leather means I'm actually able to reinforce my clothes. I don't know if you saw, but I have a pretty, pretty large amount of armor, pretty large amount of leather strips. Let's get him to speed up a bit let me show you Boink. now come on that's a lot of leather 133 total that's a lot of leather leather is quite rare but that's a lot that's the first level Okay, so we reach a decent level there. Now all we basically do, got some thread left, that's good. Uh, got a lot of rip sheets left, so all you basically do, let's clean these up while we're at it. You got denim, you got normal rip sheets, and you got leather. Leather is uh, the best as far as I know. I think it's a bit better than denim, but correspondingly, it's also the rarest. So. I'm just going to do the pants for now, and as we go through the series, I'll, I'll keep a good um, condition on these. Because as you can see, it's got no holes. That's important. Holes are a whole other issue. We're just going to add the leather strips. Bing, bing. Now, as you can see, he's all patchy. Believe me, they look weird. They really look quite patchy as the game goes on. But yeah, that is just a bit of reinforcing the clothes. 
took me a while. I actually, when I lost um, Eddie Original, it was because I was looking for a needle. It took me just like can opener. I don't know why. For some reason, there are a few items. Ah, I, I looked forever. Couldn't find a, uh, a needle until I found one in that uh, gated community up there. So yeah, let's see. Ah, it looks like I inherited the map. Basically, I have the same map I did with uh, old Eddie. But yeah, um, sorry about it. This has been pretty inconvenient. I'm gonna have to retrain him. As you can see, his skills are down. But the priority of the series is the base. The base is. We've gone a bit off topic. Ironically, because we wanted to, I wanted to make this dude a bit more stable, and now he ended up dying. <laughs> so um, next one, uh, let's look. What I did do, as you can see, I'm going to show you right here. This is where sheet ropes come in very handy. As you can see, I've got 20 logs over here. Uh, when you bundle up logs, especially the four stack, you save a lot on weight. You cut that weight down massively. Um, so it makes it easy to move and I'll be planking up all these windows. I won't be doing the middle plates I'll just be planking them up. So we'll see that in the next episode But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned something and yeah, sorry. It's been a bit unsteady but character deaths and stuff like that definitely do affect my ability to Keep the upload steady on this. Let's see it messed up messed up my plans Messed up my plans ever so slightly so yeah, I hope you had a good one, and I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something. This has been Edward of Tide with the adventures of, well, Eddie the Second, I guess. Eddie the Second, the Builder. We'll just call him Eddie the Builder from now on. Just pretend nothing happened, everybody. It's all okay. And uh, I hope you had a good one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.